In this series we'll be building a to-do application using CodeIgniter which is a PHP uh, open source framework and it's an MVC framework model view controller uh, so we'll have a controller which will um, be controlled by the route or by the, the URL and it'll use the model to grab data from the database, the MySQL database and then the views will display uh, our application. All right, so it's it's pretty full featured. We're going to have a login system, uh, registration, um, and then obviously our to do categories and our lists. All right, so let's go ahead and log in here just so you can see the whole app. All right, so we just have basically a um, landing page where we can create new lists on the fly. All right, so uh, I don't know why that button just said login, but anyway, here is a list. All right, so we added a list, which we can see right here. If we click on that, uh, it'll show us the description, uh, any open tasks we have, and tasks that we have recently completed. Uh, and then over here, we can have add task, edit list, delete list. So if we want to add a task, We'll say my task. And we can choose a due date. We'll say the 30th. All right, so now we have our task here. So uh, it's a pretty nice uh, sample application, I guess, for, for a beginner. Uh, you can see the list we have here, and we have our latest tasks down here. And we can view them. All right, so if we, if we view the new list, which we just created, and we delete that, it's also going to delete it's also going to delete the tasks associated with it so uh, let's get started so the first thing we want to do is we need to set up a database and I'm using XAMPP for Windows which is basically an Apache server on a local machine uh, it comes with PHP, MySQL comes with uh, the PHP MyAdmin tool so that's what we're going to use to um, create the database uh, if you don't have XAMPP, I do have a video on how to install it. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just want to go to apachefriends.org and download it. All right, so let's log in here. And I have uh, quite a few databases over here, including the My To Do database. So I'm going to create a new database, and I'm just going to call it uh, New To Do. All right, so let's click on that and we want to create some tables the first thing we'll create is a users table um, this will have what is it seven fields alright so we want to give an ID which will be an integer 11 for the length and we want this to be the primary key and we want it to auto increment alright next we want a first name and I'll do the, I'll do the types and stuff after. So last name, uh, email address, username, password, and the password is going to eventually be encrypted. We're going to use MD5 encryption for that instead of storing a plain text password. And we're going to have a register date. All right, so this is going to be Farcar. 255. We'll just set all these to 255. Email, username, password. Registered date is going to be a timestamp, and we're going to select for default, we're going to select current timestamp, which will be whatever time it is when the data is inserted. Alright, so that looks good for the users table. Let's save that. And the next thing we want to create is a uh, tasks table. And one second, let me just figure out what we're going to have here. Uh, actually, let's create a, the list table first. All right, so let's see. This is going to have five columns. And we're going to have an ID, of course. And we're going to set that to primary and auto increment. 
All right, the next field we're going to have is going to be a list name. We're going to have a list body, a user ID, list user ID, which will relate to the users table, and then we're going to have a create date. Okay, so let's see, our car. Actually, the list body is going to be text. This is going to be int, say 11. Create date is going to be a timestamp, and it's going to have a default of the current timestamp. All right, so that looks good. Save that, and we got one more table, which of course is tasks. And this is going to have uh, seven fields, seven columns. So ID. And we're going to have a task name, um, task body, pretty much the same fields as the list. Uh, and this is going to have a list ID, which will relate to the list table. Uh, due date, create date. And we're going to have a Boolean for is completed. All right, so is complete. Okay, our car, task name, task body will be text, list ID will be int, due date will be uh, date, create date will be a timestamp, and we'll set that default to current timestamp. Is complete is going to be a tiny int, which will have one because it's going to be either a one or a zero. And we want the default to be as defined, and we want it to be zero. So what that means is that when we enter a task, uh, it's going to automatically um, be set to zero for inc is complete. Because obviously, if we just created it, it's not complete. All right, so that looks good. All right, so that's all we need for our database. In the next video, we will download and install CodeIgniter.